So we looked at uh, Trello and why it might be useful to you going forward in this class. Now the other foundational thing that we'll talk about this week were two things that were to lay a foundation. Next week we're going to start to use the actually the social, the social network. So next week we're going to use Instagram. That's the first network we'll look at, Instagram. Before that we need to do one more thing where we sort of plan a little bit. So this is going to be on Blackboard. It's not there yet, but if you open up your on your desktop, if you open up the web design folder, so find the web design folder on your desktop and you should see a folder called CIS257. Double click that. And so the syllabus and the homework number one is there and now there's homework number two. Very similar in that there is a PDF of instructions and then an actual Word document to fill out. You'll be able to um, print these after I'm done talking, but uh, first we'll take a look at, uh, at each of them. What you should do is drag a copy from the network folder to your desktop. Don't just double click it, but drag it to your desktop so that you get a copy so that you don't slow down the network. So just drag it from my network folder to your desktop and then we'll look at the at the PDF file first, the one called Marketing Strategy. If you need any help finding that, let me know. Or do you want to open the PDF file? So we had a um, company profile as the first assignment, which is still due on Friday if you haven't done it yet. And then this one, it's also due on Friday. So when I'm done with the lecture in a little bit, you'll have time to work on either one of them, or if you've already done the first one, you can work on the second one. So this is after developing your company profile, the next thing you must work on is to define your goals for the future. Now that you have solidified what your brand is a bit, it's time to develop a strategy for getting that message out there to your potential customers. The marketing strategy will set a set of will be a set of guidelines that will shape many of your social media endeavors. So in this assignment you will crystallize the goals of your company. So here what I'm saying is again we're gonna create Instagram next week but if we don't quite have a goal about why are we even on Instagram we're not gonna do that well. That's what this assignment is about. So it'll be on Blackboard a little bit later but that doc file that you just got a copy of, you'll need to put your name on it, on the file name, and then you'll need to fill in the items similar to part one. So on the cover page, add your basic info. On the second page, fill out every section that relates to your company. Print a copy for yourself, but then email me the, the completed version. I, I don't need the printout, I need the emailed version. And then on your subject, you're going to put that subject so that I know it's assignment number two, marketing strategy. And my email is right there. So it's going to be due also on Friday by 11 p.m. So you'll have, you know, if you leave today, you'll have still two whole days to work on it. But what you actually have to do if you, if you open the Word document, let's go back over here and open your, the Word document. You'll have a page one where you put in your company info and such. And uh, I'm glad people came to me after the class and asked me, can I do this? Can I do that? Usually the answer is yes, ask me first. But uh, depending on what you want to do in this class, you'll probably be okay. But if you have any doubt, you want to see me. So based on what you've already decided on the first assignment, you want to continue that here. So you put your company name, put your name, put the date, and then here's some things you'll need to answer. So let me explain these. We've got what do you want to accomplish? You have an online presence for a reason. Are you trying to sell something? Are you trying to build awareness? Are you artistic and want um, people to appreciate your work? Do you have a group you belong to that needs more members? Take a moment to write about what you want to accomplish with your online presence. So that's if you've got a website, if you're going to have a website, if you've got social media, if you're going to have social media. An example, Vic.co wishes to create a powerful social media presence because we want to interact with existing customers and through word of mouth reach new customers. We want to connect with people on Instagram in a very visual way. So again, you might just have the idea, well, I want to get a job as a social media manager. Great, write that down. 
think about maybe how you can expand upon it a little bit uh, because the more detailed you are yes you'll get a better grade but better for you because you'll understand what you're trying to do yourself not just I want to learn Facebook well maybe why what do you want to do online are you trying to get a job in the social media world are you doing this for your cousin's business you know what are you trying to accomplish online you need to think of a target audience who are you marketing to who are you going to be targeting on Twitter or on Google Plus or LinkedIn who's your target it's important to focus on a target audience it's nice to say that everyone would be interested in your product but it just isn't true in the real world who are the people that would like to know about your product what is their age their gender economic group musical style in short who would care about your product and in essence we are creating a persona of a potential client here I've got the people who want to hire Vic.co are people that are trendy but know what they want they are people that are in their 30s who are successful own their own company need a website and know the value of web design so I get this all the time when my company tries to get a client and we ask them who's your target audience who are yours who are you selling your product to who are you trying to reach oftentimes they say well everyone well concretely um, when we asked that to a person a couple of years ago and they said everyone the answer that's the wrong answer because they're they were selling baby strollers so no not everyone is gonna care about baby strollers even if you're a parent and your baby now is walking are you gonna want a baby stroller probably not so as we talked more with that person we narrowed it down that it was okay uh, young families with you know newborn children and going for the Latino market. So young Latino families, that's who their target audience was. And yes, they could target other ethnicities and other ages and so forth. But if you know who you're going for, that will help you when we get to Twitter, when we get to Instagram, LinkedIn, all of that, to reach the people that really are going to care about our product or our restaurant or to hire us. So that's why I said here. We're looking for 30 year olds. Yes, we'll take a job from someone that's 50 years old, that's 20 years old, whatever, but we're going for 30 year olds that own their own business, that also know the value of web design, that know that websites can be expensive. You know, not to show off, but I've worked on uh, projects where we walk in and when, when we leave, we've got a check for $10,000. So, web design and all of this can be expensive. And so we want to target people that understand this value because unfortunately a lot of times people don't understand this. Don't get that it's worth this much. You're going to charge me $25 an hour to tweet? I can get my cousin to do it for free. Yes, but they are not educated. They don't take these classes. They don't know what the best way to do it is. So same thing with websites. You know, we might meet with a company. They're a restaurant. They need a website. And we tell them, okay, this will be a $1,000 website. They say, $1,000? I can get a $99 website that I heard on the radio great go ahead and buy that and you'll see how you get a low quality product no tech support uh, and no customers so we're dealing here with people that understand the value of web design in a literal sense that it costs money that it's not just a thing that you can buy some software and do it quickly so a target audience who would care aspirational competition it's good to have role models both in life and in business is there a business you want a business you see that makes you think I want to be like that or a business that makes you think I want to do that but better list a company a person a brand etc that you feel is in competition with you but that you would like to emulate why do you want to emulate them why do you want to be like them but better Vic.co feels that XY designs is our aspirational competition because they are well known in the field of web design and their style is unique and modern so another real-world example um, last time I showed that restaurant, that Mexican food restaurant, Aquias Texcoco, uh, when we started the, this aspect of the business with the owner, we asked them, who's your aspirational competition? Who are you trying to be like? Or who do you admire business-wise? And he said, Phil's Barbecue. How many of you heard of Phil's Barbecue? If you haven't, they're a big name uh, here in San Diego of barbecue. Uh, oftentimes people come to San Diego, where should I go eat barbecue? They say Phil's Barbecue. You may or may not agree with that. But the point is that they're a big name in San Diego barbecue. So we thought on, on the surface, that's funny. This The owner of this Mexican food restaurant 
wants to be like this American style barbecue place. Digging further and asking, well, why? Why do you want to be like them? He says, well, they've got a line out the door seven days a week just waiting to get in. I want to be like that. I want to be, I want my food, my restaurant to be synonymous with Mexican food in San Diego. Like Phil's Barbecue is synonymous with uh, barbecue in San Diego. So the owner currently of Texcoco, he's got a line out the door on the weekends, but he wants to be a line out the door every day. And when you talk about what's a good Mexican food restaurant, he wants people to say, aquí es Texcoco, the name of the restaurant. So that's who he's aspiring to. Not that it's the exact kind of restaurant, but it's a restaurant and it's known for various reasons. So for yourself, you have to figure out who is your competition, who do you think is your competition, who do you want to be like, who do you want to be better than. Why do you like what they do? What can you improve? Previously we had a mission statement and now we have a vision statement. A mission statement tells the world where you stand. A vision statement tells the world where you're going. Write a statement that makes predictions about what you want to accomplish as a company. You may set a time horizon, like five years or something. So Vic.co will be known for providing eye-catching web design for San Diego's most elegant restaurants. In the previous assignment, I set the mission statement that our goal at the moment is to make great websites. But the vision is that we want to make websites for restaurants. We want to make eye-catching, rest, uh, restaurant-friendly websites. So that's our goal. Mission is where you're at now. Vision is where you're going. And then we've got the USP, the Unique Selling Proposition. What do you provide your customers that no one else can? What makes you stand out from the rest? How do you uniquely solve their problem? Answer the question of why. That is, why would a client hire you? Vic.co is based in San Diego, and many of our team graduated from Southwestern College, San Diego State University, and UCSD. We therefore know the local culture. We can create compelling websites that cater to San Diego companies. This goes to a really deep question of why. Why is a company like Apple successful? Why is a company like Nike successful? Why is anything successful? They're answering a question of why would a potential customer care about their product? So as I said previously about Apple, love them or hate them, they are very, very, very successful. And part of the why of that is because when you see their commercials and their advertisements and everything, again, they're not super hyping the product, the phone, etc. They're hyping happy families, happy people, moments of your life, not missing your, 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 your friends, concert or your baby's first steps and such. So the why is I want that Apple product because I want to have a good life. Um, so answering why for yourself here we're saying let's say we're trying to get hired. Vic.co, we're web designers, we're trying to get hired to do a website for a company. We're reaching the connection that the people in this company are from San Diego, we know San Diego culture, we grew up here just like your company. Just like your company that's in San Diego, we're from San Diego. We grew up here, we know the local culture, we know the in-jokes. Yes, you could hire any company from across the U.S. or across the world, but they're not going to know San Diego like we know San Diego, and that's what makes us unique, and that's why you should hire us. You know, that's how we're talking to that particular client. Why? Would they hire us compared to the others? What's unique about us? And again, a lot of this is uh, maybe very big and nebulous and never really thought about it, but from a real-world perspective, this is things that we do in my company for clients. We, we, uh, we take the time um, to do this for a real client, get all of this information, and then we're more confident to make a website for them, to do social media for them. So if you learn this and you go out to become a social media marketer, this will be very helpful to help you wrap your head around all of this. If you're doing this for your cousin's business or for your own business, again, think about this because this will help you get the more customers. Because this will guide us when we get to YouTube, when we get to, um, what else are we doing in this class, Vine, all of those things. So this can change, of course, 
it's going to be due this Friday and you'll have some time to work on it now and ask questions and such. I haven't gotten to grade the first one yet if you turned it in. Usually I grade on the weekend. But if you have different ideas, you can turn in an updated version. And so this is the second assignment. And uh, are there any questions on it? So then we'll end the main lecture. You can print that out if you'd like in a moment. I'm going to add it to Blackboard. This has been recorded. I'm going to upload it. I'm going to send an email through Blackboard to let you know where the videos are at. So you can play it again if you'd like. This one in part one and assignment one are due on Friday. If you turn it in before Friday, you're done. Great. And when we come back next week, we'll talk about Instagram. So that's it for the moment. We'll have some lab time until 7, um, 7 15, I think, and we'll do it again next time.